Hey guys, welcome to the Creator Suite here at CES, and I'm excited to show you some of the cool things that creators can do using the new GeForce RTX cards available through NVIDIA. So we're looking at Arnold for Maya, which is currently a CPU-based renderer and is available in both Maya and Max. And what we're looking at here is a turntable. It's something that artists like myself typically do to visualize our characters. And as you can see, the CPU renderer itself does pretty well. We're on a high-end desktop workstation and we're getting decent performance. However, an artist like myself might struggle to see some of the details in this character. It'll be hard for me to know what's happening with the materials and to see some of the micro scratches now I have some options as an artist to continue moving forward with my work. I can wait for this to render, but it might take a while. And when I'm doing interactive rendering, I might resort to something called region rendering to isolate a part of my character and then change it. Now the problem with this is I get better results within that window, but I lose context of my entire scene. And this makes it hard for artists to really gauge what they're doing. And it makes it hard for us to continue moving forward and push our artistic designs. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on GPU rendering here so you can see the amazing speed ups we get. We're looking at the exact same scene now in GPU rendering. And as you can see, the image is resolving much faster. If I move through this turntable, you'll notice that the character resolves within a handful of seconds, where when we were in CPU mode, there was a lot of noise that made it hard for me to tell what's going on. We are able to achieve this because we can take advantage of the RT cores in the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti, and this allows us to quickly visualize our characters. The noise in this image also disappears, and that is because we can leverage NVIDIA Optics AI denoising. AI denoising gets rid of the noise that shows up between each frame, allowing us to see our image in high fidelity before we even render it. And the detail it's spectacular. So we're looking at the AI denoising image pass here, and you can see that we have all of our scratches, dents, and divots within the actual character model itself. So we've seen accelerated rendering on a workstation with the 2080 Ti, but we're pleased to announce that with the new Max-Q notebooks, we're able to get similar stellar performance on a GeForce RTX 2080. So here we're looking at a GeForce 2080 Max-Q notebook, and we're looking at the exact same scene as we were on the Maya setup over on the desktops. What's really, really intriguing about this is that I have almost the same exact interactivity that I would have had on my desktop. And again, this is because we have GPU accelerated rendering available in Arnold coming up in the future. And we also have the benefit of the RTX cores driving the acceleration of uh, ray tracing and the denoiser helping us to finish our images within a fraction of the time it would have taken on our workstation with CPU rendering.